Okay. My name is Reg Crowshu. I'm from the Pikani First Nation. My Blackfoot name is Awakasina. In our language, it means Dear Chief. That's a, a Blackfoot Pikani language. And that's the language I speak. I just want to say that I want to start out with a, a smudge. In our culture, smudge is very important. Smudge, when we light the smudge, it sets a formal um, place where we can tell stories in a formal way. Uh, and in our culture, stories are important. Stories, I would say we're an oral culture and stories talk about relationships between nature, other human beings, animals, and the, and the universe we live in. And every time they interact, those interactions create experiences and stories. So those are what we're talking about today because those stories, we bring them to the smudge and when they're smudged, they become um, formal stories, not just any stories, but a formal story. So for oral culture, our practice with the smudge is important uh, so that we can talk about an oral story. So with that, I'm gonna start with a smudge. So this is my smudge and I'm gonna put the uh, herbs on it or the sweet grass. And as the smoke comes up, the smoke connects us with creator so that we tell the stories the way we heard them. I used to bad the I will not be not do. Oh, kidads catch him at a Christian quip. Oh, kiss whom walking on up, so to Kenikaya Kichinika took. Oh, Kinakika Kuchinixi, Anignan is Tokchi, Pitago, Okchi, or Nakspomoxi, Anaka, ah, ah, sitapi, a mani tapi, a moxi pig, good stapi, cheese, our chinixis. Oh, Kinoko to a domkinama. Nixo quacks no kayo to a nah six no kayo to a. Actually, <laughs> I just want to uh, talk a little bit about, I was, I heard stories about our medicine men and how our culture talked about, for example, preventative health. But I also know in the world we live in today, we have a written system and through our health agencies and services, they give us guidelines for preventative health. So those are where our, our young people and our elders are stuck between those two worlds. I always think about the story uh, that I heard from my grandmother about creation. There was many parts to creation, but one part I always heard was in our culture, we talked about ghosts. Ghosts were things that were represented like sicknesses that we couldn't see. So when I was young, through the younger societies, we had an elder, uh, elderly person that, that uh, her face was uh, paralyzed on one side, but she was our teacher. And she said, we need to 
understand that emotion and fear were part of creation. So we need, as in our creation story, creator had emotion first because he was lonesome. And when he had emotion, uh, we were given that emotion from creator as a part of creation. But we were also given respect and disrespect as uh, uh, to use when that emotion was given. So she said sickness was our ghosts that are represented as creation. And when they hit you, you have fear. So you need to use respect. So as respect, the old lady said we need to look at uh, um, the ghost that affected her when her face was paralyzed. She said, I didn't, I, I, did, I was stressing myself out. I wasn't living a good, healthy life. I was getting involved in uh, um, bad talk amongst other people. So those are three protocols, she said, I have to stay away from because that's the reason why this ghost twisted my face. So that's how I understood the paralyzing on the face. You, you don't talk bad about other people. You exercise, live a good life, and try and live stress-free. And then this ghost won't twist your face. And that was my understanding from our traditional knowledge and stories. Later on, maybe about 10 years ago, uh, we were meeting with health services. In a Western, in the Western setting through writing and policies and so on. And they were talking about preventative health. And as they talked about preventative health, they were talking about the cases of Bell's palsy on the reserve. So those cases of Bell's palsy, they said the preventative health needs to be to live a stress-free, have exercise, and not to engage on these same thing of talking bad and so on. So as I heard that and read it in preventative health, all of a sudden all of a sudden the two clicked. This is what how I heard it from our oral system and our belief systems as a elder talking to me about ghosts, but then I see it from a written perspective from health services saying here is preventative health. So that's how we need to use both information to help our young indigenous people understand that both ways are good and they can use both ways as a good way of life. Anya.